Farewell to the king, farewell to the throne These are the strangest times I've ever known He claims his resignation, his power of choice You can hear the death in his voice Um, I, I think it's great and it's um it's, it's kind of exciting to see what, you know, what will happen next. I, I, I definitely feel like um, it's, a, it's a great step forward for, for us and also just, you know, for internationally as well. Just because, you know, we, we got rid of our horrible president doesn't mean that there are still things that won't need to be improved. So at the same time as, you know, we're moving in the right direction, there's still there's still uh, things to be corrected. I sh certainly hope that it can uh, eventually put an, an end to the war, you know, and um, and especially not having somebody that was so supportive of the war and so, you know, gung ho on on creating a war. You know, now we're we're in it. We're in a bit of a if um, economical crisis at the moment as well. So. That's something that's going to need to be remedied. That's something that is on everybody's mind and is is a very scary thing for for us as well. So down the rabbit hole, we sink into this dream. There's a nothing in this world that is as it seems. With the looking glass that only can reflect the past. This image of freedom will never be wrapped. You are human, man. Join in the sound till they put us underground. Very deep, very deep, where the dead men sleep With battles and screams, we're all saved So I'll be drowning out it's been, it's been a great response so far And uh, yeah, we're very happy with it I mean, you know, we, we kind of took a direction of going a little bit more um, In your face, kind of more raw with this record And that was kind of like Which sometimes bands tend to get more watered down as they go along kind of thing So I think that it was a step in the right direction for us to kind of more come more alive as the records go on rather than just get duller and duller. <laughs> I think of the vacation of our kills and destroys. How much of what we say just turns to white noise. We got this all declare, our remarks and jazz. If only the fall of death is Come on, you mad men join in the sound to they put us on death wow. At some point there needs to be a time where you're not constantly opening up for another band and you are going out and making it your show and making it your performance and that's something that I, I feel like we haven't really done enough of yet but I definitely feel like we're, we've kind of had it with, with doing support tours as much and we really want to start doing more headlining stuff. Last time we played in Berlin um, on our own tour, we headlined at Wild at Heart and it was sold out and it was very, you know, that was like, wow, this is really cool because we've, this, these people are here to see us, we're, we're not just opening for somebody else. When, when you spend uh, more time with the members of your band than you do with your own, you know, um, better half, be it your girlfriend or your wife, it, um, it is very frustrating, those small things that, um, that are annoying about people. Our drummer Chris has, has an um, active um, bowel. <laughs> he has to go to the restroom. He has to, go to, the bathroom. He has to take shit all the time. So, That's why he's called Pooh, right? <laughs> That's kind of why he's called Pooh. So it is, it can get very annoying, especially like, you know, sometimes on tour when we're, we're driving in the middle of the night and it's um, like right away, he's like, pull over right now, I gotta go. And you're just like, ah, oh. it's like, if it would, it's one thing if it's like once in a while, but it's like on almost a daily basis. So <laughs> it gets very annoying.